The machine uses only two sounds produced electrically. One of these represents the breath. The other, the vibration of the vocal cords. There are no phonograph records or anything of that sort, only electrical circuits such as used in telephone practice. There are 10 filter circuits in the motor, and combined with the two energy sources, they give a total of 20 separate components to build up speech sounds. But now, let's have Mr. Garrett and Ms. Harper actually show us what the voter can do with these 20 separate sounds. Well, we've heard the voter make a word, and by combining words, of course, we can get a sentence. For example, Helen, would you have the voter say, she saw me? She saw me. That sounded awfully flat. How about a little expression? Say the sentence in answer to these questions. Who saw you? She saw me. Whom did she see? She saw me. Well, did she see you or hear you? She saw me. Now, so far, you've only heard the voter speak in one voice. But the voter has other voices which he can use when Miss Harper makes a simple adjustment in his mechanism. Helen, would you have the voter say, Greetings, everybody. Greetings, everybody. Now, would you have him to repeat that in high voice? Greetings, everybody. And now in his best face. Greetings, everybody. When a boy's voice changes, he's never quite sure whether it's going to be a tenor or a bass. And the voter, being a still comparatively young man, has also his moments of uncertainties. Let's say he say, Mary had a little lamp. Mary had a little lamp. Whose breeze was white as snow. And everywhere the Mary went, the lamp was sure to go. <laughs> Voter, you sounded awfully dismal. How about it? Let's hear you laugh. Okay. <laughs> a minute ago, I said the water was a comparatively young man. But that white slob of his makes me wonder whether I might not have been wrong. You really feel as old as you sound? Yes. Yes, I feel very old. Well, I feel certainly sorry for you. Now, perhaps you have noticed that there was a particular quality in the voice you have not heard before. That was a vibrato. We noticed a little while ago that the vowel sustained without infraction didn't sound human. It sounded this way. Uh. Now, we put vibrato in that same tone, we get this. Uh. Uh. And that is, as you noticed, a really singing tone. Yes, Woder can not only talk, but he can sing. Test your voice for us, Woder. La. La 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 Well, if you've quite recovered from your mood of depression a few minutes ago, I suppose you can sing a song for us. Will you? Will you? Yes, certainly. Well, how about Old Lane Sign? Old Lane Sign? I'm sure that if I sang that song, I wouldn't sound as good as the water. Miss Harper, I've been wondering whether our listeners realize how many motions you have to make in the production of a single word. Can you give us some idea? Well, for example, in producing the word concentration on the voter, I have to form 13 different sounds in succession, make five up and down movements of the wrist bar and vary the position of the foot pedal from three to five times according to what expression I want the voter to give the word. 
And of course, that must be done with exact correct timing. About how long did it take you to become an expert in operating the water? It took me about a year of constant practice. This is about the average time required in most cases. How many girls are there who can operate the water? The company tried out about 320 girls, and out of this number, 28 girls became ex expert voters. Well, operate. that seems like a very small number, just why is that? I can answer that, Dr. Cobble, by saying that operating the world or a girl needs a particular combination of particular talent, which is not too common. Mr. Garrett, does the voter speak any foreign language? Oh, the voter can talk practically any language that the operator can talk. But suppose we try a little French on the voter. Can he say parlez-vous français? Parlez-vous français. Splendidly done. Merci beaucoup. You see, doctor, the voter can do practically anything that can be done with the human voice. The satellite covers a lot of ground, Mr. Garrett. I know people who can imitate animals. Can a voter do that too? Oh, pretty well. For instance, here's a voter imitating of a cow. And here is a pig. Have you given the voter any real education yet? And just what do you mean by that, Dr. Cowell? Well, for example, does he know his alphabet? I'll let you judge that for myself. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Y, I, F. <laughs> that certainly proves the voter's versatility. And now I'd like to ask, just what kind of purpose is there for the voter, Mr. Garrett? How can it be practically applied? Well, Dr. Cowbell, we don't anticipate any commercial use for the voter. It was built for an educational exhibit for the New York World Fair and San Francisco Exposition. However, it is a byproduct of development that we are going to doing in the Bell Telephone Laboratories. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Kali, also. I think there might be a body rising. Uh, Karl Kühn, vielen Dank. <laughs>